Let's go to Sydney now where police are still at a bushland location south of the city where bones believed to be the remains of missing man Matthew Levison were found yesterday. With more, our reporter Mark Reddy joins us. And Mark, maybe just give us a little bit of background and then, and then we can talk about this uh, excavation and uh, what's going to happen next. Yeah, good morning, Paul. Well, homicide detectives are now on their way back to the Royal National Park here south of Sydney as the search continues for Matthew Levison. As you said, bones were found deep in the Royal National Park yesterday afternoon. They've now been sent away for forensic examination as they try and determine whether or not they are in fact of Matthew Levison. Now, Matthew Levison, of course, uh, disappeared from outside Park nightclub in Darlinghurst in Sydney's inner east about 10 years ago. His partner Michael Atkins was charged with murder shortly after but then he was acquitted in 2009. Now despite that he's always remained a person of interest and uh, at the inquest into Matthew's disappearance last year he told the court that he lied while giving evidence and that he also knew where Matthew's body was. So in an extraordinary move, he struck a deal with the New South Wales Attorney General and police to be granted immunity from prosecution for perjury in exchange for that crucial information. Now, that information is what led police to this site in November last year. They've been searching there extensively ever since, and it was yesterday that they were really on the cusp of a breakthrough. OK, so what, what's left to do there today if they've, uh, they've removed um, some of the remains? Yeah, so homicide detectives are going to return here shortly and uh, they expect to comb the site for further evidence. They say that because these bones were found there yesterday, they expect uh, to find more clues this morning. Now, it could take up to two weeks for a uh, forensic examination to take place to see whether or not there is a DNA match with Matthew Levison. But of course, uh, a number of legal questions remain as well as to just well, what will happen with Michael Atkins, he was the one that led police to this site where they made that grim discovery yesterday. Matthew's parents, Mark and Faye, uh, have spoken of their relief, but also their heartache. They described this moment yesterday as bittersweet, but of course, uh, they very much remain determined to give their son the burial he deserves. And of course, this morning, they are expected to return to the scene as the investigation continues. Paul? Ma Mark, thanks very much for the update.